What's up YouTube, it's Bardwis Pixar. Really, really quick update today. I just wanted to show you where I've got to with Treacherous Bilkies after a bit of development work on the weekend. Um, nothing huge, but there are three things that I wanted to talk about. Now the first thing is you'll notice that we've got some music playing here. Um, I put a jukebox engine in and the playlist is exactly the same as Treacherous Tower. I know an original, that's just the way I wanted it to be. I will be adding some new songs. I don't believe I've got all of the track list in there as yet, but we'll be adding some more in. Um, now, what I think is better than Treacherous Tower is that the track will play the same for everybody. So if you're playing in a room and lots of people are playing the game, and you've all got your sound turned on, you won't be listening to this chaos of, of just different songs from everybody in the room. You'll be hearing the same song. Admittedly, they won't necessarily be in sync. I can't really do anything about that, but you will be hearing the same song. Uh, in addition to that, there is, of course, a dialogue down the bottom that tells you which track's playing. Um, these are aliases, of course. This is not the real song name, Fluff and Gamer on his channel talks a little bit more about where the names from this came from. Um, it looks like a pause, it's not actually a pause, because if you paused it then you'd be pausing the music for everybody in the server which would be driving them nuts. Um, it just mutes it. But I kept the symbols the same, I wanted to be as consistent to Treacherous Tower as I possibly could. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the logic. And one of the problems that I was having, and I think it's probably more an issue at the moment when it's quite early days, there aren't too many games um, or too many levels in this, is that you could quite often have, you know, like three, four, five instances of the same level in one tower. And it just, like, when it was Treacherous Bixer and Treacherous Bixer was obnoxious, um, it was really, really annoying having to play it multiple times. So there's code in there now that checks to see, has that level been loaded once before? Yes, two times before. And if it's been loaded more than a certain number of times, it won't randomly load it the third time. So see what we've got here? We've got Bad Galiloy in there twice. And Bad Galiloy will not load a third time. I think two is the limit. So hopefully that adds a little bit of variety to the game. The third thing I want to talk about is Bubble Chat, and if you've been playing Roblox for a while, you'll know exactly what Bubble Chat is. You type in the chat window, um, and there's also the option of a speech bubble appearing above the players' heads when they're chatting. I like Bubble Chat, the reason why I like it is because you don't have to keep the chat window open all the time. At the moment, if I keep the chat window there, um, it takes up the game, and it, it's, it, it's just, you know, there's also the chance that you can do what I just did then, instead of controlling your player, you end up typing into the chat, and it just gets really annoying. So, and also the chat window will disappear. So, uh, unless you have the chat window open all the time when there are players in the game, there's a good chance that you'll miss what people are saying. Um, Bubble Chat, of course, puts this prompt above what you're saying. So, if we just type some words here, now, there it is. It's not immediate, and I don't know why that is, but it's not. But nonetheless, it is there. So. If you're at the top of the level and then you type something in bubble chat and then you fall down to the ground level, people down at the ground will see why you're raging, which I think is really cool. Um, why did that happen? Okay, I've just found a bug on Treacherous Bixer. I mean, oh no. Why did that happen? Okay, so I think we've got a bug with bigers. Anyway, that's the next thing I'm going to be working on. Fixing the bug with bigers. Why did the level lose its colour? It was kind of cool and kind of atmospheric, but yeah, I don't think it needs to stay. Well, that was really, really interesting. My game actually tricked me there. So let's just go back and look on the replay and see what happened. Here I am, going into bigers, and I jump over the first kill brick and then I hit the second kill brick and look at the color changing but if you go back and you look at the clock counting down you can see that 
that level was due to be refreshed and I didn't know that. So it goes down, 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 bang, and changes to grey. Because it changed to grey of all colours, my first thought was, wow, it's added a black and white effect in. My second thought was, hang on, it stayed black and white. I didn't do that, it must be a bug. But it's not. It's simply me not understanding what's going on in the game. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. That was really cool. I thought I had discovered a bug live on air. I have not. There is no bug for me to fix. This has been Battle of the Fixer. We'll catch you again in the next video.